How's it going again guys? Eddie Martinez here with the Recording Radio and Film Connection and today we're going to go ahead and continue forward uh, I guess navigating through Google Plus and gaining a better understanding of how to use Google Plus understanding circles, adding more to our profiles, things like that that makes of course Google Plus more interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Edit Profile and if you want you also have an opportunity to re-edit the things that you already put there or um, if you left some things out that you want to go ahead and include at this time I would suggest that you do it because you want to have your profile looking as full as possible adding photos adding little blurbs here and there a good introduction or bio about yourself because this is what's going to make it more interesting for people to eventually add you or follow you or join circles and things like that so I definitely recommend that you put as much information as you can about yourself make yourself interesting and yeah people are going to plus one you which is a good thing. It's kind of like liking a profile or liking uh, things about you. Okay, so right now we're going to go ahead and navigate a little bit in the uh, home section and we're going to go ahead and begin adding friends. Now this is actually pretty interesting because what you could do is you can go ahead and I guess pull from contacts that you already have. So if you have contacts uh, through Gmail, what's great about this is that you're able to go ahead and add them to your circles. Now what circles are like groups and each group could be a little bit different um, so and you even have the opportunity of creating your own groups for example I'm creating one right now which is mostly going to be about music business uh, so I'm going to go ahead and type in music business and whenever I have friends that I want to go ahead and add to my music business cir circle they'll receive information whenever I comment on that particular circle. Now if they're a part of a different circle they won't even see that comment so it's actually uh, pretty handy to kind of keep uh, different groups of people uh, separate from each other so maybe you want to just uh, show pictures of the studio and maybe your family's just bored of that already uh, and you just want to go ahead and show friends that are interested in that you can go ahead and do that this way. So as you see I went ahead and added someone made it, made a new circle and I highly recommend that you do this uh, and I think a lot of your contacts you should be able to fit into some type of circle as well uh, just to try to get as many people involved with uh, your Google Plus account of course. Okay, So we're going to go back home and you also have an opportunity just to go ahead and add other people um, who are either part of your contacts who might be if you already have this linked up to your Facebook account uh, you could add people like that as well and you know connect that way as well okay. and from here you even have an option to add people from different uh, emails that email accounts that you may have so I just selected somebody at random for the purpose of this tutorial and you can see I added them to my business uh, music business circle. Now what exploring is, this is a great way of finding out either about local businesses, trending topics, things like that, other new people, um, ways of getting into conversations, uh, as long as it's relevant, you know. If you wanted to go ahead and do some of this sort of stuff uh, in a personal account you could definitely do that as well but uh, what I recommend is that you uh, keep it mostly about you know your music and uh, the progress that you're making in the studio. Now the photo section will actually allow you to do a few things. You can either instantly upload which will automatically add your photos and videos from your phone to a private album on Google. You could view online so this doesn't matter whether you lose your phone or anything like that you could still have all your photos online and you can go ahead and view them uh, right there or you can go ahead and choose what you want to share so you can go ahead and select the types of things that you want to share with uh, any circle of your choosing and of course it gives you offerings of uh, downloading apps to your smartphone now if we uh, go ahead and just move to the top right uh, this will also give us another option right here to upload photos um, so you can just go ahead and select a photo you can either drag it in or uh, you can go ahead and select one from your computer. You can just upload a photo that way. Now communications or communities, pardon me, are actually 
groups. They're like kind of like groups that a lot of people already added into. Um, a lot of really interesting uh, conversations and topics. A lot of, uh, you know, I guess uh, different companies or organizations are already part of these communities and you can join in conversations. Now events is something like if you have an event going on that you want to go ahead and share, uh, you can go ahead and create an event and invite people to this particular event. So we're back at the home page. And now once you have a couple of friends, uh, what you can go ahead and do is you can begin posting things. So you know, just create a quick little blurb and then share it. Again, it's one of those things where you want to make sure that you, you know, you kind of visit your page a few times a day and let people know what's going on, whether you're going to the studio or you just came back or you snapped a nice little photo you want to share. Whatever your experience is, um, you definitely want to go ahead and share that to keep people engaged with what you're doing. And along the line, what you'll see is that uh, you'll see your own progress as well. You know, you'll see uh, the amount of people that you have in your circles grow and you'll be able to make really good contacts this way. Uh, if you kind of just uh, make the profile and do nothing with it, well, you're not going to make any progress whatsoever. Uh, and what I would recommend is, you know, you make as many contacts as you can. You stay on top of your uh, Google Plus account and, you know, really make it interesting. And then you could, right here, I'm showing you that you could go ahead and decide who you want to share this information with. Right here just uh, lets you know that you can go ahead and delete or edit some of your posts as well. So if you made some sort of error, you can go ahead and do different things. You could add also photos, links. Uh, you can uh, grab things from you know different files and add them to your postings, which is actually pretty interesting. And that's pretty much Google+. Plus. Uh, what I recommend is uh, eventually you link up all your accounts together, which I'm going to go ahead and explain in a couple videos from now. Uh, this next video that we're pretty much going to go over is mostly going to be about adding another network. Uh, it's going to be our Twitter video. So I'll catch you guys on that one.